It's very late in the day, and you can probably still hear the, the chainsaws working in the background. All the limbs that are being taken to the curb from all of the volunteers from around the country. One life is worth all the, the time that, and miles that, driven by all of the volunteers that come here. They do it all for one life. If we see people through Jesus' eyes like he does, he don't see our skin or our old gray hair or our ugly God. face. Yeah, that's <laughs> but right. he sees our heart. Uh, and so if we see people through the eyes of Jesus, it, our whole world would be different, wouldn't it? The love that's shared by the homeowners is enough to, to fuel your fire for another day and another week. You out here helping us. You're not over helping one particular somebody you're helping thousands of people and then then we didn't we didn't we didn't commission you you're out here you're out here volunteer and as the teams come together we've noticed several families coming together and coming out to serve and show the love of Jesus these are things when these kids grow up Lord they will remember going out and sharing the love of Jesus and that's what we as chaplains with the rapid response team we come and show the love of Jesus and we're able to pray with these homeowners and lots of times, like he said, they encourage us as we walk away. We come here to encourage her father and she has thank encouraged you. me. Yes. And we thank you for this dear neighbor here, Lord, whose family is on the And we thank God house. for the opportunity to meet every, each and every one of the volunteers as well as these homeowners. Without the storm, we wouldn't have met them. Okay, well this is for the, her sister and her grandmother. Okay, I figured it out. This goes to your mother mm -hmm. because she lost her house, and this goes to your sister, and you will get one. Yeah, I, I got I got all I need. <laughs> I got all I need. Tell them we love them, okay? Oh, thank y'all so much. Uh, thank you so much.